Florida natives in here. Yeah. All right. So have you guys, yeah, you guys been, yeah, you guys lovely. been scuba diving? You know mm -hmm. what fire coral is? All right. For those of you who don't know, fire coral when it is alive and in the water, if you do go up and touch <coughs> it, it will feel like your hand is burning. So. Now that it's okay. fossilized, it is safe to touch. You can touch it all you want. You guys can go around bragging to people that you touched fire coral and it was no big deal. Now right above it, right here, we do have some fossilized brain coral here and here. Right here is some tubular coral and on top of that, Bless you. thank you, is a fossilized sea fan. Now around the sculpture, there are various broken conch shells. Those are said to represent Ed's broken heart over his sweet 16 Agnes. Now. Right in the middle, we do have this face here. Yeah. Many people believe that this is, you know, Ed's selfie, as it's been dubbed. Now, unfortunately, we don't know whose face it is. It's not necessarily Ed's. It could be anyone's face. Ed never wrote down whose face it was supposed to be. Uh, many people say that it's a very ugly face, so that leads people to guess that it is the mother-in-law's face. <laughs> now, the yellow eyes inside of it have not always been there. Uh, back in Ed's day when he was giving a tour, there was a child who was very afraid of the face. So Ed, being a problem solver, he goes around, asks all the children on his tour, does anyone have a marble? Sure enough, little kid pulls out a yellow marble. Ed takes it, says thank you, sets it down on the table, splits it in half, sticks the two halves in the face, and apparently the child was no longer afraid. Now, in my personal opinion, that child is a bit weird as the yellow eyes do make the face a little bit creepy. Mm -hmm. Now, there are shells and various items all throughout the sculpture. Many people do like to look at the sculpture to find out what they can see inside of it. It is art, so many people, you know, they find inspiration from it. Now, there are people out there who believe that there is a secondary purpose to this. That, that you know, maybe it isn't. Oh, if you guys are wondering about that lizard right there, those are Agama lizards. They're from West Africa. They're an invasive species here. They have black bodies and orange heads. Those are actually the males. Wow. Now the females look a little bit more boring. They're just a dull green color. Wow. Now, is it poisonous? No, they're not poisonous. They're very scared of people. You can walk up right next to them and they'll run away. Now, many people do believe that, you know, there could be some sort of secondary function for this. I had one man here who, uh, you know, stayed till closing time pressing on the shells here saying that if he pressed the right combination of them, that this stone slab would actually slide out away from the wall and there was a rocket ship underneath it that would lift off. Now unfortunately I have never seen this rocket ship. Uh, it would be cool to see it, though I'm not holding my breath over witnessing it. Uh, what was the name of the structure again? The structure is the evolution of man from the sea. Now we do have quite a big group, so you guys are welcome to go into the tool shed later. I'll just give you an explanation of everything that's inside it. Can I go along? Yes, you can at the end of the tour. Now, inside the tool shed, you'll see in the furthest corner that there are leaf springs there. Those were the leaf springs that Ed did use to 